Praise the Lord. Today we have a beautiful sister of Mike. When the modern medical science told that to have to start a family, to have a child, it was virtually made impossible. And this mother persevered in perseverance and in the promise of God and nourishing her with the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. And let us hear from her how God blessed them with the children. Here we go. So just for privacy's sake, we are unable to say the name. So here we go, sister. Please explain your experience, what happened and how the Lord intervened. Um, I'm 34 at the moment. I'm married five years. My husband and I were trying for a baby for three years. Over the three years, I had three miscarriages, and it was taking a long time to conceive. And then, was there any specific it, reasons that being told that you find it hard to conceive? Was there any? Um, they told me that after the third miscarriage, that the baby had um, Turner syndrome. Okay. And they said maybe my ovulation was the the hormone was a little bit low, but there was no genetic reason or any other abnormality okay so we persevered mm. um over the three years and we were coming to the prayer group in glanmire in cork where we met a man and i told my problems to a man and you were giving us different prayers to say and to stay strong and continue to pray together would you tell me what was the, the word of god being given um gave us that you will be fruitful and multiply and you will be a mother of many nations from Genesis. You gave that many times to me. So you begin to say thank you Jesus for making us to be fruitful and multiply. Yes, yeah. And thank you Jesus for my healthy baby even though I wasn't pregnant at the time and we had our troubles like I still said it all the time thank you jesus for my healthy baby uh, roughly roughly because just for the we will say i'm asking how many times did you say um, a day oh i would say it lots when when i was working in the hospital if i was out walking on the wards i along pets i would whisper it to okay. myself and if there was nobody in the office i might say it a little bit louder away to myself regularly during the day so all the day so in that case say or even in the car sometimes in, in, when i was in a different job then i used i couldn't talk really to myself during the day i said the car coming and going from work you're and listening to brother johnson in the car but in, so all the time it was, you're speaking the promises of god and not your problems yes yeah. so the more you begin to say the promise of god it has removed the problems which the modern science, science was telling, these are the problems that are hindering you to have a baby. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Please. Um, so it, it did take a lot of time and I think probably looking back, a lot of it is my own self-doubt probably and negativity thinking and uh, I think you gave a scripture to my father and it actually made more sense to me. I think it's in X, wait on the Lord. And I suppose I said, I expected myself, that I said the prayer today, that I'd be pregnant today, that you have to, to wait for his time and not what I want now. Um, so I suppose it did take a, a little bit longer and to, to realise that. And after the three years in, I had the fourth pregnancy and it was successful. Um, we have a healthy girl who turns two now. Um, but we continued to pray together and there was bumps along the road and what were the bumps um they when i go for the scans they said she was small measuring small and that i had a uh i suppose you wouldn't call it a problem but i had a two vessel cord mm. and you're supposed to have a three vessel in the placenta and that that's why she could be small and maybe she wasn't getting nourishment so i would have to have scans every week Okay. And they kept saying she was small, she was small, and my friends would even comment on, oh, you have a tiny bum. Okay. And it just really upset me. And so, I'd, what was the scripture? The scripture you begin to say that. Uh, um, I think 
It was Habakkuk, Habakkuk? the two of you, you said our yes. vision of a family will come to pass. Mm. And the two Corinthians, when you said we were completely set free, but there was another one. Oh, yeah, 1 Samuel uh, 17, verse 28 to 30, you said, Turn away from negative situations, do not get offended. So I distanced myself from the people who were. Amen. Very important. As David distanced himself from the ridicule from his brothers, they were speaking negative. He went away from them. Similarly, you kept away from all the negative comments, even when people were saying, mm -hmm. you have a small bump, your baby, the medical science said you have a small baby because of it, but yet you choose to believe Habakkuk 2, verse 2 and 3, because you have the written vision on your mind that you are having a family and your baby is healthy. Yes. Yes. And she was. She was, I wouldn't consider her small. She was 5 pounds, 8 ounces. Praise Jesus. That's what people want to hear. Yeah. You know, you get me. Yes, every scan report told tiny baby. But as you hear, dear brothers and sisters, my sister is telling clearly that she got a healthy five pound baby. So every scan report was nullified when you and I have a vision according to the promise of God. Please. And I, I would also, when I was going for the scans every week, when I'd be waiting in the waiting room, I would read the WhatsApp messages you sent in Brother Johnson's teachings, just because you could be waiting hours. And I would also pray for the doctors and the nurses and the sonographer that um, I would say, thank you, Jesus, for filling them with your love and your wisdom. Thank you, Jesus, for my healthy baby. And I would always say that. And I would say um, Psalm 91 for their protection and my protection as well. And I remember you telling us, um, me and my husband would pray it, um, during the day and at night. We both put our hands on the bump and we would say, thank you, Jesus, um, for filling us with, with your love. With the baby, yeah, with, with your baby. Holy Spirit yeah. and wisdom. Yeah, and um, that we are anointed and the baby is filled with his love and completely set free. Praise God, praise God. So now you have a very healthy baby. Yes. And uh, she keeps you on going, definitely. Yes. Praise Jesus. Praise, Praise Jesus. Jesus. Thank you so much. Uh, this is what the word, the promise can make us to deal away from the problems. First happened to my sister was the knowledge given to her. And she accepted the knowledge to the extent she nullified the facts given by the medical reports. And yet she was speaking the truth. As you all heard that, even while waiting, waiting for her um, for her scans, she was more contemplating on the promises, not on the problems being told in the previous scan. Praise the Lord. And thank you so much because yours is going to help so many mothers who like to have children. Thank you so much and God bless.